good evening my dear friends good evening father during this eucharist i pray for each one of you and your personal intentions we remember diego and bhagi fernandez they are celebrating their fifth wedding anniversary and all the couples here some 5 years some 10 years some many years living together is a grace so we pray for each one of you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear friends today in the gospel we have the one of the many sentences of jesus i am sentences we have the i am the vine you are the branches sometimes we forget our roots we forget where we are connected we forget what are our values and we forget for what we stand and we want to be ourselves we want to be the shining star without any roots without any branches without any connections for the times we have been self centered let us ask pardon and mercy from the lord will sing the lord have mercy Yeah. 
pray. Almighty and living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, when Saul had come to Jerusalem, he attempted to join the disciples, and they were all afraid of him, for they did not believe that he was a disciple. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the Apostles and declared to them how on the road he had seen the Lord, who spoke to him, and how at Damascus he had preached boldly in the name of Jesus. So he went in and out among them at Jerusalem, preaching boldly in the name of the Lord, and he spoke and disputed against the Hellenists. But they were seeking to kill him. And when the brothers learned this, they brought him down to Caesarea and sent him off to Tarsus. So the church throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria had peace and was being built up and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, it multiplied. The word of the Lord. Our response to God's word is, You are my praise, Lord, in the great assembly. Please repeat. You are my praise, Lord, in the great assembly. My vows I will pay before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and shall have their fill. They shall praise the Lord, those who seek him. May their hearts live on forever and ever. Our response, you are my praise, Lord, in the great assembly. All the earth shall remember and return to the Lord. All families of the nations worship before him. They shall worship him, all the mighty of the earth. Before him shall bow all who go down to the dust. Our response, you are my praise, Lord, in the great assembly. And my soul shall live for him. My descendants serve him. And they shall tell of the Lord to generations yet to come. Declare his saving justice to people yet unborn. These are the things the Lord has done. Our response. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Little children, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. By this we shall know that we are of the truth and reassure our heart before him. For whenever our heart condemns us, God 
is greater than our heart and he knows everything. Beloved, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence before God. And whatever we ask, we receive from him because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he has commanded us. Whoever keeps his commandments abides in God, and God in him. And by this we know that he abides in us by the Spirit whom he has given us. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Kindly stand. Abide in me, and I in you, says the Lord. Whoever abides in me bears much fruit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bear, bears much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers. And the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and, and my words abide in you, Ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. I am the vine, and you are the branches. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I am the vine and you are the branches shows a relationship, a connectedness which cannot be broken and if it is broken you can bear no fruit and therefore it mainly talks about connectedness, rootedness. I was shocked when a Sunday school teacher in a particular parish came to me explaining her son was sick tried two, three doctors. She asked me, Father, Ata Bahir Chakaitri try Kuruka. Bahir Chakaitri means what? Limbu. I was shocked. Sunday school teacher. 
this is the kind of faith we have this is the kind of rootedness we have in god many people many people first thought when they are sick no somebody must have done something to you me what will somebody do lot of fear they carry nobody does anything to anybody nobody will harm you and it's more so if you are rooted in the lord but in what are we rooted we are sad people we are sad people and what we are rooted in s a d sad s stands for self centered firstly we are rooted in ourselves i am like this either i am rich or i am poor i am i'm so proud of my achievement self made man i or oh, look at me i have not done anything i could not do this rooted in ourselves self centered not rooted in the lord s a a stands for anger often we are rooted in our own anger any reaction first anger is the reaction not understanding anything goes wrong anger is my reaction and i am rooted in that anger that is my stronghold that is my shield not the lord not the understanding which comes from the lord anger and second and third is s a d self centered anger and dissatisfied no matter what you give to that person that person is dissatisfied do i belong to that class anything happens i am dissatisfied i i find fault not at all happy with whatever happens in life i have lived 75 years i have lived healthy my two children are married my this grandson i have seen everything i have done had a good job but sad disappointed angry are we rooted in god are we rooted in god are you rooted in goodness or we are rooted in our sadness a small story of a boy a village boy and he was supposed to go to a mela now you know how excitement this village boy going for a mela and that in that mela he will have he, he comes and he sees a lot of sweets he asks his mother shall i have this sweets no you shall not have this balloons lovely beautiful balloons different color balloons shall i have this balloon mother says no you should not have and he sees the giant wheel and he is marveling at the giant wheel and he wishes to desires to go and sit in the giant wheel he asks his mother he turns his parents are no more there he is lost in the mela and then he realizes he is lost he starts crying seeing this young small boy boy crying everybody gathers and one fellow says you want this sweets no 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 i don't want this sweets i want my parents i want my mother i want my father you want this lovely beautiful balloons colorful balloons no i don't want this balloon i don't want i want my mother only i want my father only you want this you want to sit in the giant wheel no 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 i want my mother i want my father i want to be with my parents only they tried everything the people tried everything but the boy was inconsolable he could not stop cry crying finally when his parents arrive at, at the scene at that moment immediately he stops crying this is what happens to us when we lose contact with that one important contact in our life that one rootedness everything else becomes meaningless and therefore be rooted in god not rooted in sadness and sad self centered or angry or dissatisfied but be centered in god and therefore that is what jesus says i am the vine you are the branches i am the vine you are the branches uh, today is the fourth sunday so do we have the nicene creed Uh, displayed here fine we'll have the regular creed kindly stand to profess our faith together we say i believe in god the father almighty the son of lord 
he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body and life everlasting. Amen. The parable of the vine and the branches tell us that we have to remain attached to the vine in order to become fruit-bearing people. Let us now pray. For our Pope, bishops, priests and religious, that in the delicate task of teaching, correcting and encouraging the faithful, they may be guided by the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord, Lord, may our lives give you glory. Lord, may our may lives, lives give, give you glory. glory. For wisdom to elect leaders who will govern us with justice, equality and freedom, and who will be more interested in the upliftment of the poor and downtrodden. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, may, may our, our lives give, give you glory. For peace in the world, especially between Israel and the Palestinians, and that nations may show restraint and not accelerate the situations to cause more loss of life and property. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord may, may our, our lives, lives give us glory. glory that the concerned authorities may make all arrangements for safe crossing at Holy Family Chalk, so that our seniors, children and others may cross safely. And for our parish committee working on this issue, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord may, may our lives, lives give, give you glory that our families may become abodes where faith, love, and fellowship flourish so that each member of the family has ample opportunities to feel fulfilled and happy in life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord may, may our lives life give you glory. glory. We pray for community and personal needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, may our lives give you glory. God our Father, we thank you for the gift of life. Give us the grace that we may not forsake this precious gift, by you, but by using it we may bear fruits that will last for eternal life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, that a sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Lord, I accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy children. Let us pray. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, 
grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord Amen the Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty God he never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and never pleads us cause our cause before you he is the sacrificial victim who dies no more the lamb once slain who lives forever therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim Your holy, your holy indeed, indeed the form, the form of, all of all holiness. holiness. Make holy, Make holy for this gift by, by sending down your, your spirit, spirit upon, upon them like the dew like fall, fall, so that they so may that become, they may become for us the body, the body and blood, and blood of, our of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. At the time, At the time he, was he was betrayed and entered into his passion, passion. He, took he took the bread, the bread, the bread broke, it, broke it, giving thanks, thanks gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar manner, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant it will be shed for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of our faith Therefore, as we celebrated the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of this body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, we remember our Holy Father and pray for his intentions of the month, for his health. Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also brothers and sisters who have gone ahead in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, especially all of us who are gathered here around this table at this moment. With Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with all the blessed apostles and saints who have done your will throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. In the words Jesus taught us, let us say together, Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our day, especially the evil to be rooted in ourselves, to be angry, to be dissatisfied. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take, take away, away the sin of the, of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus who says, I am the vine, you are the branches. How happy we are to be called for his supper. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter my under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
We thank the Lord for the great consolation we have in the I am sentences of Jesus. I am the vine, you are the branches. We thank the Lord for the week that is gone and ask the Lord to bless our forthcoming week. We recall the many blessings of the day and thank the Lord for that. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord, kindly be seated for Sunday notices. Notices for this week, Sunday, 28th April, 2024. You are reminded of your Christian duty to vote. Please do not plan your holidays on voting day, which is Monday, 20th May, 2024. The RCIA course begins from June, 2024. Those interested in the course may kindly contact Father Joachim Tellis personally. The Summer Fun Club, which will be held from 8th to 25th May 2024. Registrations can be done at the desk outside the church or via the online link at Rs. 200 per head. For details, please look up the notice board for the following notices. EcoPals is organizing a collection and reuse program of school textbooks and uniforms for Divine Child and Holy Family schools. The Take Charge Mentorship Team will be conducting an orientation for youth between 16 and 24 years 
and their parents in Ashankur Hall on 28th April from 11.15 a.m. to 12.15 p.m. We sincerely thank you for our last weekend's collection of rupees 1 lakh 10,860. Mass intentions, 29th April, 7.30 a.m., Months Mind Mass of Cajetan Viegas. 30th April, 7 p.m., Months Mind Mass of Ruby Unet Charbiwala. 3rd May, 7.30 a.m., Months Mind of Flori Cornelio Pereira. 5th May, 10.15 a.m., Months Mind Mass of Bridget D'Souza. My dear friends, once again, one vote makes a change. Do vote for a change. It was a nice evening praying with you and praying for you. Uh, those who are not able to attend Sunday Masses uh, come for this Saturday evening Mass. So very pleasant to be with you and pray for you during this Eucharist. Kindly stand for final blessing. <coughs> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.